Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books. May 16th, Christ, the Perfect Revelation of God. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Hebrews 1, verses 1 and 2. Since the first promise of a Savior was given to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, God has continually sought to turn men's hopes toward Christ, the perfect revelation of his character. The patriarchs and the prophets spoke and wrote of the coming of the Messiah. This was the central truth of all heaven's communication to men. God spoke through Enoch and Noah to the world before the flood. He spoke through Abraham to a people living in idolatry. Through Moses he communicated his message to the children of Israel while they were yet slaves in Egypt. He raised up judges to reveal his power and might to his chosen people. Before the Babylonian exile, God revealed his great wealth of love through the experience of the forgiving prophet Hosea. Through the gospel prophet Isaiah, he portrayed the victorious sacrifice and sufferings of the servant Christ. The prophets of the exile tell of Christ's mediatorial service in the judgment. Words of hope and comfort were sent through the prophets Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. Each of these presents some aspect of the plan of redemption, but the ultimate revelation of God and the full disclosure of his love to man was seen in Christ. The coming of the Son of God in human flesh was the greatest demonstration that could possibly have been given to reveal the true character of God. This revelation was the fulfillment of all other revelations in past ages. Christ is the living word to which the written word ever pointed forward. Christ came to the world with the accumulated love of eternity. From Ellen White's book, Education, page 76.